Time flies when you're having fun, but that doesn't mean we're thrilled about aging. If you look close enough, you'll realize that math is integrated in every corner of our lives. It's literally everywhere. Take a moment and think about it. We'll wait. Math is in how we communicate, how we travel, how we shop, how we work, how we relax, even how we do music. Math's influence is felt in courtrooms, hospitals, offices, and homes. Time is an interesting concept, and it's very much intertwined with mathematics. It might even explain why our perception of time accelerates as we get older. Remember those endless summer holidays from your childhood? Back then, summer break felt like an eternity, packed with adventures like swimming in the lake, biking around the park, or just hanging out with your friends. Each day was a new opportunity for fun and exploration, making the weeks stretch out in our minds. Heck, those three months of summer break seem like years in the eyes of children. Meanwhile, for adults, time seems to move at a breakneck pace. Days blur into weeks, weeks blend into months, and before we know it, another year has slipped away. The difference lies in how we perceive time. As kids, everything is new and exciting, and our brains take longer to process all the new experiences, making time feel slower. As we grow older and our lives become more routine, there's less new information for our brains to process, so time seems to speed up, making those childhood summers feel like they lasted forever. Seems about right, right? Well, now we know that time really does speed up as we age, leaving us feeling increasingly time poor. In a 1996 experiment, younger people between the ages of 19 and 24 and older folks aged 60 to 80 were asked to count out three minutes in their heads. It seems like a dumb experiment, but the results were mind-boggling. It suggests that our perception of time shifts dramatically as we grow older. When younger people were asked to count three minutes in their head, they averaged a pretty accurate three minutes and three seconds. What about the older group, you might ask? Well, they stopped the clock at a surprising three minutes and 40 seconds. This speeding up of time as we age isn't just about trading carefree youth for a busy adult life. There's actually several theories about why we perceive time in this way. One idea is our sense of time depends on how much new information our brains are processing. The more novel the stimuli, the longer it takes our brains to process, making the time feel longer in hindsight. This theory could explain why time seems to slow down in moments of crisis, like right before an accident or when you've just received some bad news about your job. The situation is so unfamiliar and so packed with new information that our brains just take longer to process it all. Instead of time actually slowing down, which won't happen, our brains are simply recording more detailed memories of these intense moments. Experiments on people experiencing freefall, yes, we're talking about skydiving here, have shown similar results, where participants perceive time to stretch due to the incredible flood of new sensory information. But as we get older, our environments and experiences become more familiar and therefore less new information for our brains to process. Take this for example. The daily commute to work was once filled with new sites and potential wrong turns, and after about a month, it becomes a more mundane routine. Weekdays blend into each other with familiar tasks and interactions, creating a sense of time flying by. This familiarity reduces the cognitive load on our brains, speeding up our perception of time. Also, our brains use these detailed memories as a reference to judge the passage of time. When we look back at periods filled with new experiences, they seem longer because of the richness of the memories. In comparison, routine periods with fewer unique experiences blur together, making them feel shorter in retrospect. This could be why a year in childhood, filled with learning and discovery, feels significantly longer than a year in adulthood, where days often seem to pass in sort of a monotonous rhythm. For kids, though, the world is a constantly surprising place. They're always encountering new experiences, reshaping their understanding of the world, which makes time feel slower for them compared to us, well, routine-bound adults. The more familiar we become with our daily routines, the quicker time seems to pass. So if you don't want the days and years to just fly right by you, it's important. Go fill them with new and different experiences. Avoid the time-draining monotony of routine. Go travel, visit your family, explore new neighborhoods, heck, even go out and learn a new skill. It may feel uncomfortable at first, but trust us, these types of new stimuli will make aging way more acceptable in your mind. Okay, so this all sounds great and whatnot, but this idea doesn't quite capture the consistent rate at which our perception of time speeds up as we age. This suggests an exponential scale to time. As humans, we use exponential scales when dealing with quantities that cover a vast range, like sound, which is measured in decibels, or earthquakes, measured on the Richter scale. On the Richter scale, for instance, a jump from magnitude 10 to 11 means a tenfold increase in ground movement, not just a 10% increase. 
Similarly, as we age, the length of a fixed period of time seems to shrink exponentially. The Richter scale can measure everything from the faint tremors in Mexico City when fans celebrated the World Cup goal in 2018 to the massive 1960 Valdivia earthquake in Chile, which released energy equal to a quarter of a million Hiroshima bombs. If we think of time this way, it makes sense why it feels like it's speeding up as we age. For example, a year is just under 3% of life for a 34-year-old, making birthdays seem to come around way too fast. For a 4-year-old kid, waiting a whole year for that next birthday is almost unbearable. It's literally a quarter of their entire existence. So this exponential view means that time between birthdays for a 4-year-old is like a 40-year-old waiting until they turn 50. And from this perspective, time naturally seems to accelerate as we get older. We often break our lives into decades, our carefree 20s, serious 30s, and so on. Like, each period should feel the same length. But if time speeds up exponentially, different life stages might feel equally long. The span from 5 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 40, and even 40 to 80 could all feel about the same in duration. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. This means that the 40 years from 40 to 80 might fly by as quickly as the five years between ages five and ten. So this isn't to send you into a bucket list frenzy, but it is worth remembering that our perception of time is constantly shifting as we age. If you're older than 60 years old, don't wait to do things you've always wanted to do. Use this video as an invitation. Go out, take that leap of faith, and just do it. By actively engaging with the world around us, we can make our days feel longer and more fulfilling, no matter what our age. What are your thoughts on the passage of time as we age? Does time move faster for you as you've gotten older? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember, with a dash of effort and a pinch of self care, you'll be rocking that youthful glow for years to come. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel where we uncover more Revitalixer recipes.